My name is Banele Koza and I'm a painter, curator, gallery director and I was born in Eswatini and I've been based in South Africa for the last 12 years and we're in my studio in Pretoria. My love for art, I'd say it's deeply rooted from just wanting to have a conversation. The world um, right now, we're kind of like lonely and I think ways that we're able or can express ourselves is through the arts. My process of working, really, I, I work in multiple pieces and projects. I think, first of all, it's a reflection of our times where we almost have to be in different spaces doing different things. The body of work that I've been busy with, uh, it's actually titled It's Always Been You, and it is a study of my life, participating in the world with being queer and also like the relation of love. And I would say that the whole body of work is actually a letter. I think it's a love letter to someone that I held so dearly in the last years. I have to delve into what I've experienced and I think what I've learned to do of late is to just give myself more time. I think it's highly personal in the sense that this time around I've stripped off working with a model who would become the skeleton of the story. So in the last months, it's just been me participating in studio and avoiding distractions, which I think the models were a form of um, a distraction from myself. And I would say this body of work really delves into recent thoughts, emotions, and everything that I didn't want to deal with on a day to day. <laughs> yeah. The take on confession is actually inspired by um, an artist that I've loved for so long, Tracy Amin. She described her work to be confessional. And for me, I had to take that analogy and understand how it applies to me and what do I confess within my work and I think in this body of work it it's actually the love that I had for this person I think that has come with a lot of turmoil and I think you get to see it within the pieces my process is really based on trying to imitate watercolors um, with other mediums and I think it comments a lot about my process of life as well, where for a while I tried too hard in many things. And I think using acrylics to convey watercolors, I think it was also just the complexity of being that things could look this way, but actually they're not. But I think with that as well, it's just to pushing the medium as well. It's really not about the structure, it's about the emotion. And I think emotions are very translucent. They're very, they're always changing, they're in flux. And that's what I want to capture within the work. I want to give you an impression that it's a figure, but it's not about the figure, it's about the deep emotion. 